My mother was making pies for Thanksgiving. I was maybe seven years old. She had the little scraps from the outside of the pies and she would give me those scraps that were on the outside of the rim of the pie crust. So I would take those, I would roll them out myself, we put a little jam inside, fold them up, cinnamon sugar, and she would bake them off in the oven for me. Culinary arts was definitely something I was interested in, and it's been a passion of mine ever since then. And I would say that educating children in how to eat has also been my lifelong passion, teaching them how to eat so they will have a healthy life and eat well. My name is Chef Paul Buchanan from Primal Alchemy Catering. We like to focus on local, seasonal, and sustainable foods whenever possible. So we shop from the farmer's market, we use our local food producers, food growers, and also regionally, and we make everything we possibly can from scratch because we want you to know what goes in the food we make. And it was like the Swiss shard where I showed you, you turn the leaf and you hang it upside down and you take your finger on each side and there you go. There's your greens with all the hard part stripped out. So this stem will go for compost and then these, I just break them into bite-sized pieces, take a little lemon, I squeeze that on there, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and I massage it in a bowl and then that's it, it's ready to eat or I can put it in the refrigerator and I can keep it up to four and five days. When we don't source from out of country or very long distances, then we're saving a lot on fuel, petroleum, and our carbon footprint is very small when we source like that. The food that's here is all from farms in the surrounding area. They have to say where it comes from, they have to say on a piece of paper um, what chemicals they use, what fertilizers they use, you know, where they're based out of, where their farms are from, that this food is from. Sustainable farming is growing things that are in season, growing without pesticides so you don't have runoff to the local area, and not producing more things than, than you need. You don't want food waste. If you're depleting the soil and depleting the soil and every time you grow a new vegetable, you have to add more nu nutrients, that is not a sustainable act. So a sustainable act when you're farming would be taking your scraps from all your vegetables or from your farmer's market when they don't want the tops of the carrots, when they don't want the tops of something. You save all that, bring it back and you compost it and then that becomes the nutrients that go back into the soil. That is a sustainable act. Today, much of our challenge is eating well comes down from choosing real food and, and avoiding the industrial novelties of processed foods. I think when people shop at the farmer's market or even they're thinking about it, they think it's gonna be more expensive. But when you're shopping at the farmer's market and you're buying things that are fresh, many times the farmers will have three, four, five dollars. If you can get three bunches of vegetables for five dollars, I think that is a great deal. You can get a bunch of carrots, you can get a bunch of beets that you can eat the tops and the beets, and you can get a head of cauliflower. So that could be vegetables for your family for a week for five dollars. There's been a 40 year campaign of telling people, hey, you're too fat, you're too fat, you're too fat. You gotta go on a diet, you gotta go on a diet. And you should eat no sugar, you should eat no fat, you should eat low this. If you eat the real food that's here, you don't have to worry about that. 